Hello, it's Spence, the evil genius, from Winter Laboratory with your lab secrets tip of the day. How would you like some speed? I have a need for speed. Do you have a need for speed? Everyone has a need for speed. And with the W3 Total Cash plugin, we're going to show you a 10 times improvement in speed. It's a rare thing when I'm impressed by what a plugin does, because in this case, it says we'll get at least a 10 times improvement in overall site performance, and we have. It says we'll get a grade A in wide slow, and we have. It's also increased all kinds of other great things, including page load times and page rank and some other optimizations that are really important when you're trying to build a site, especially when you're using an efficient and less expensive shared server. All right, let's talk about this in practical terms. Over here, we've set up two demo sites exactly identical. One is at lab1076.labsecrets.com, and that's set up with the W3 optimization installed and running. And the other is our demo1062 at lab playground, or sorry, dot labplayground.com, which is our same set of uh, really detailed plugins and other features and accessories. Everything about them is identical. They're mirror images on the one site we've turned on the W3 cache. So let's go and see the results for ourselves up front about what this plugin can do. First of all, over here, this is the optimized site at lab1076.labsecrets.com. And I'm running a tool called uh, pingdom.com, or I should say it's a site called P-I-N-G-D-O-M.com, where they've got a load time tool that you can use yourself to enhance your uh, testing experience. When I click on test now, I came up with a result of an amazing 1.4 seconds to load this fully loaded Lab Secret Solution site with about 30 plugins installed. Let's run it again, just so you get a real verification here. We scroll down here, and again, we got 1.2 seconds. Now, let's go ahead and look at our other site, which is the demo site for comparison. Demo 1062, again, same exact set of plugins, tools, theme, everything uh, on a shared server likewise. And let's see what result we get here. It's going to take a second to load up. One of the things you want to notice, by the way, is you notice how many more items there are here. That's a big factor of what this plugin does, as I'm going to show you in a second. And there we go, 10.8 seconds. A respectable load time, nothing to be embarrassed about on a shared server with a ton of extra stuff installed. But man, oh man, almost that 10 times difference to the letter. Now, what is the difference? Well, there's three things that this plugin does that's really relevant to you in terms of a site owner. Number one, it does a thing called caching. Caching is like a delivery of a newspaper. It stores something on your client or your uh, customer's browser that they may not need to see day in and day out. So using the newspaper metaphor, if you were delivering a newspaper every day to them, you wouldn't necessarily, if you were optimizing and have to give them the same heading and the title and the images and all the stuff that's the same every day. If you wanted them to have a really efficient newspaper, you could probably deliver it on a little stick note because the only thing that's changing is the news between all of that other fluff. So caching does the same thing. The images, the style sheets, the JavaScript, the objects, even some of the plugin content are all stored in an optimized way on a big computer in the sky. We're going to talk about a content delivery network and that is delivered to your client's browser where the browser is instructed, hey, hold on to this stuff because tomorrow the newspaper is going to be very similar. We'll just change out the stuff that you need to see changed and leave the rest. Number two, content delivery network. Amazon S3 is the one we're using here. What does that mean? Well, content delivery network is an optimized cluster of servers that are spread usually in a network around the planet that are close to the particular user who's trying to access them, and they are where most of the stuff that your site is delivering will be stored. So instead of it being stored on your nice little efficient tiny shared server uh, through Lab Secret Solution, most of the heavy lifting is being done by the Amazon content delivery network servers throughout the planet. And the best part is, number one, that it's all automatic. You don't have to worry about doing anything other than the initial setup of this. And number two, it's incredibly inexpensive. It costs us about 85 cents a month to be running a typical website with full backup, as well as delivery of content and all the other great things that come from having an accessory S3 account and also a little tool, which I'll show you, they call CloudFront. Uh, CloudFront basically takes the 
the bucket, the storage bucket that we've set up here with all the content from the site that we want delivered optimized, and it makes it possible to deliver it automatically by way of a domain name. You can see here we've got a special domain name assigned by CloudFront that refers to this particular uh, bucket setup. And if we want, we can even do a C name. You know, we can call it something like cdn.labsecrets.com so that when somebody comes to our site, they don't need to see this kind of ridiculous looking domain name. They can see something personalized. But getting back to the point, the content delivery network using Amazon S3 cost you about a dollar a month for an average site will let you not only store all of the files that need to be delivered in an optimized way but also give you the ability to do things like the automated backup tools and other such things that we've talked about in previous tutorials all right now the third thing it's called minifying minifying is a way to take a variety of style sheets or code or HTML that may be spread out in multiple pages and locations and bring them all together into one bundle. Imagine you were going to the grocery store and I told you I had a laundry list of 20 items to pick up. What would be faster and easier? Driving up to the supermarket where they hand you a box with all the items contained into one or going down the shelves and trying to find the items and picking them up and putting them in the cart and going through the checkout line. Of course the former, not the latter. And that's what minifying does. Minifying takes all the various scripts and style sheets and other items that could even be from other third party sites and puts them into one bundle, thereby reducing the number of back and forth trips that your browser has to make or your client's browser has to make to get your site put together. And that you can see here. Notice on our demo 1062, the non-optimized site, look at how many objects there are. There's 65 objects, and most of them are located locally. As you can see here by the URL, it's at the demo 1062.lab playground uh, domain name or uh, URL rather than up at the content delivery network. Let's go over back to our uh, optimized site, and I'll show you the difference. We go over here, you'll notice, first of all, that the total object count has changed significantly. Now we only have 27 items. The other thing is that you'll notice that the content delivery network is the location where they're at. See that unusual domain name, the du 56 bababacloudfrontnet Again, we could make that pretty and call it something like cdn.labsecrets.com, but even with the native Amazon, you'll notice that that's where all these files are located. And you can see how quickly these are, this is a, a time frame of 0.2 seconds, this whole spread. So these things are loading in milliseconds, literally. All right, now we've got those three elements together. We've got uh, the idea of doing, as I just said, minifying, using content delivery, and caching. And those three things together, along with this plugin, uh, will make your site faster. But there's one last thing. What if we've got a bunch of images that are really large? I mean, there's just no denying they're large. Well, we got to make them smaller. And thankfully, Yahoo has provided a tool called Smush It that's available in a plugin form. And I'll show you that here. If you go to your media library, media underscore library, this is where you upload all the images that you utilize uh, when you're, you're making a blog post or page or doing anything else in the lab secret solution outside of the social network. You'll notice here on the right hand side the smush it stats. When I've uploaded an image, I can reduce it by any number of percentages depending on the original file size. And look at some of the things I've got here. This particular one I reduced by 21%. Look at these. I reduced these by 72%. Unbelievable. Let's do a sample. I'm excited. Let me just show you a sample. If I go here to the uh, desktop, I'm going to select a file. This has not been optimized before. Okay. I've got it here. Now let's go over and look at it in the library. So it reduced the file by 9.8% and it did it automatically. Now you can see once you've got this enabled, the smush it by default is activated. And now we've got it doing two things. First of all, it's reduced the file size. And second of all, you see this little link here? See that purge from CDN? What it did is it smushed it and it uploaded it automatically to the content delivery network so that now if I use this in a blog post or a page or anywhere in my site, it will be current so that the people who are viewing that page will actually get it delivered from the content delivery network. And that's an amazing thing as well, because in this case, instead of it being stored locally on my little, you know, very efficient, but little um, shared server, 
that doesn't cost me a lot of money. Instead, it's going to be up on the content delivery network being delivered very efficiently as well. All right, now let's bring it back home. One of the claims made by this plugin is that it also increases or improves your Y slow score to a grade of A, which is a big, bold claim because that's pretty tricky to get. What is Y slow? If you use our favorite tool for Firefox called Firebug, it's got an optional extension here called Y slow. What this is, is it gives you some testing tools and some performance uh, statistics on what's happening with your site. When you run the test, we've set this to a small site or blog. Look at this. I'm pretty amazed by this. A 97 out of 100. We got a grade of A on a Lab Secret Solutions site with a shared server that only takes about a second and a half to load versus 10. And we got a grade of A. Basically, that means that almost all the optimizations that we could have, according to their criterion, have been met. A couple little ones that aren't a big deal. For example, we still have a few loose JavaScript scripts, and we still have maybe the JavaScript could be put at the bottom. But besides that, a 97 is an amazing score and goes a long way towards ensuring that your site is a great experience for your users. Now, there's a ton of setup options on this. It's not hard to set up. You will find that the W3 caching plugin is located under the performance tab and we'll be providing a full tutorial along with the plugin for anybody who's a lab secret solutions subscriber uh, to show you exactly step by step how to utilize this tool to optimize your site number one thing though and i'm going to leave you on this do not i say do not i think i mentioned do not use the w3 caching plugin until or unless your site design is finished. Why? Because when you're using this plugin, remember, it's delivering and storing a copy of what you're claiming is the finished version of your quote unquote newspaper, or in your case, your website to the user. If in fact, you're trying to change that on a regular basis while you're designing or adding new things, it's going to be out of sync with what you really want them to be seeing. So rather than worrying about it and trying to be the tail chasing the dog, wait until your site is stabilized and finished, and then you will go ahead over to the general settings of the W3 cache, and you will enable it with the one central button. All the other setup options will show you in the tutorial video specific to this plugin. But for now, very impressed. This has been our feature review, a little spotlight on the W3 Total Cache and the Smush It plugins available now for your Lab Secret Solution. This is Spence, the evil genius from Widget Laboratory.